morning, uh, starting at about 6 o'clock this morning, we pulled on to the oil field pad where I park, and uh, Scarface was in the feeder. So we were watching the stealth cam, and we waited till he jumped out and gave him an extra 10 or 15 minutes, and we tried to sneak in there, but there was some does in the field. I don't know if he was with them or not, uh, but we sat there for a while and seen a few more does, and hopefully we're going to go to another place that's like, like a half mile away from where he was, so... He may be over there, he may be not. I don't know, it's thick in between there, but we're gonna go see if we can. Maybe get on him over there, or maybe another big mature buck, so stick with us and hopefully we'll try to put something down. <laughs> So we just freaking got to uh, this other spot like we were talking about and we got out of the pickup literally me and Danny were sitting here like dude pigs and uh, so like we just stayed put I reached in and got my boat because I didn't want to spook it out because we're still gonna go over this hill and see if we can uh, get on a get on a deer but there was a big old boar with this group and I picked him out and uh, Danny ranged him at 60 so I dialed to 60 the old HHA tooth of the air broadheads just smoked oh. him at 60. Danny behind the camera. Yes, sir. Oh, man. It was awesome. So and how, we, long ha, how long has it been since you since It's been probably shot with a bow. Well, it's been two years since I've killed anything with a bow and then three years since I've killed a deer with a bow, so We feels literally good. got out the pickup spot and stock to where <laughs> that tree's at and I just told him, just hold out at 60 and sure enough, he let, him, he let, he let it rip. Dude, just Heck drilling. yeah. The old Matthews Halon. That so, HHA is a deal, boys. So with this luck, you want to take your bow? Yeah. I'll take it with us. But. Yeah. I'll hold the bow. All right, guys. So we just did a couple rattle sessions. 
and we uh, called in a little broke up buck. He cut him on a string probably to 10 yards. And uh, so we're gonna go back up here now, look for this uh, look for this big pig. Hopefully he's just over the hill where we seen him. He was hurt pretty good. So that tooth of the air broadhead right in the pump station does some damage. So we're gonna go up, try to get back on blood and see if we can't find him. Hopefully get after another deer this evening. Holy crap, look at this pig guys. Look at the cutters on that dude. 60 yards. 60 yard shot with a tooth of an arrow, broadhead. Shoot, yeah. Are those the ones you got from the giveaway? Yeah. Heck yeah. Let's go dude. Stinky too. Dude, that's a big pig. Put your hand up to the to his face just for comparison. Not very big hands, but like three hands. Shoot. You get it on this. Got side. decent cutters. You got the arrow sticking out. Super Not stoked for him. He hasn't killed anything with a bow since what? 2018. 2019, I killed a pig with a bow. 2019. Yeah, deer-wise, 2018. But uh, so it's been a while since he's released an arrow, but. There 60 go. yards. That's my furthest shot ever on an animal. Heck yeah. An old VAP TKO. Oh, he's broke off. He broke off. He broke it when he fell on it. Yeah. Let's get him flipped over and then we'll get some pictures of him. He's only got cutters on this side though. I think he's got the other ones broke off. Big old nasty board. Got a oh, broadhead's still in there. Oh yeah. You try to get it? No, I'm just seeing the, oh yeah, look at that wound. Perfect. Oh, he's got cutters on this side too. Oh dude, look at that cut. Perfect cut. The four blade? Yeah, those are dirty, dude. Four blade guy. But man, those are dirty. On a pig that size, just it blew right through that shoulder. Did it convert you? I'm gonna use them now for sure. Heck yeah. Look at the cutters, dude. What if he got a hold of you with those? 